Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is access and benefit sharing. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The National Biodiversity Authority (NBA) introduced new regulations under the Biological Diversity Access to biological resources and knowledge associated thereto and fair and equitable sharing of benefits regulation 2025 Now let's discuss about new regulation This regulation is aimed at managing the equitable sharing of benefits generated through the use of biological resources including digital sequence information These new rules come under the broader framework of India's Biological Diversity Act 2002 and its amendment in 2023 designed to streamline the process of using biodiversity while ensuring that benefits are shared with the communities that have protected these resources. Now let's talk about key features of the new regulation slabs. Based on annual turnover The new regulation introduces slabs for benefit sharing based on the annual turnover of the industry or individual using biological resources. Special provisions for high-value biological resources. For resources that have high conservation or economic value, such as red sandalwood, sandalwood, agar wood and threatened species, the minimum benefit sharing requirement is set at 5% of the sale or auction proceeds. This percentage can go up to 20% in cases of commercial use. Exemption for cultivated medicinal plants. In a move aimed at encouraging the cultivation of medicinal plants, users involved in the cultivation of these plants are exempted from sharing benefits. This aligns with the Biological Diversity Amendment Act 2023, which frees practitioners of Indian systems of medicine from the need for approval to access resources or share benefits expansion to digital sequence information one of the major updates is the inclusion of digital sequence information which allows the use of digital data instead of physical forms of biodiversity now let's discuss about nagoya protocol on access and benefit sharing The Nagoya Protocol on Access to Genetic Resources and the Fair and Equitable Sharing of Benefits arising from their utilization is an international agreement. It aims at sharing the benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources in a fair and equitable way. It was adopted in 2010 in Nagoya, Japan at COP10. Now lastly moving on to National Biodiversity Authority. The National Biodiversity Authority was established in 2003 by the central government to implement India's Biological Diversity Act 2002. The NBA is a statutory body and that performs facilitative, regulatory and advisory function for government of India on issue of conservation, sustainable use of biological resource and fair equitable sharing of benefits of use. The NBA's headquarters is located in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about National Biodiversity Authority. 1. The National Biodiversity Authority is responsible for implementing the Biological Diversity Act 2002 in India. 2. The NBA has its headquarters in New Delhi. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.